Hi, I'm Jim Riley. Welcome to Meet the Chef, the local show that takes you to all the great restaurants in our community. You see the mountain bike? That means we're in Wyndham. I was going to ride it, but I really don't have the ability. It takes a little more skill than I have. Wyndham's known for mountain biking. They're developing trails all over the place. We have the Mountain Bike World Cup coming up here in Wyndham. It's going to be fabulous. But today, very specially, we are visiting the Mill Rock restaurant. Rocky's waiting for us inside. You're going to love this place. Come on in. Rocky. Good morning, Jim. How are you? I'm so well, nice to I'm, well, I'm well. Thank you so much for inviting us. We're so thrilled to be here at the Mill Rock. We love oh, that's it. That's great. Thank you. Now, give us a little background. How did you get here? How did you design this place? Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about that. Well, briefly, we always wanted to live up here on the mountaintop because we had rented and gone skiing. And our dream was one day to open a little restaurant up here. And that was 18 years ago. <laughs> Well, you were telling me you were hoping to retire and yeah, keep it simple. Yeah. It didn't really work no, out that way. No, it's, it's probably a little more demanding than we thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the things that we were talking about before we went on camera, sometimes we're victims of our own oh, success. Oh, yes, this is true. Yeah, it, is true. it's just a delightful place. I told you I've been raving about it. Tell us a little bit about the design of this. Um, well, my wife and I looked at a lot of wood-burning ovens in Long Island and Queens and different places. So. When we built this, we wanted something that would stand out, and I got this idea of a castle, and the rest of this history. We, oh, and we I like, too, I was telling you, you uh, tied it yes. into here with yeah. the rest of the counter. Yeah, and the rest we of used it. this tumbled marble, which was just starting to come into the country in 1995. Right. So it gave us that antique castle look, which we were trying to achieve, and it worked out pretty well. It really sets off If you look at the, the top, design. it's kind of crooked, because my skills weren't that great, <laughs> but it it gives a little bit more flavor. I, of, I was going to say, yeah. I think it actually looks yeah. more genuine yeah. because it's not perfect. Yeah, I, I really like true. that. But it sets off the entire environment here. I mean, it's really, the ambiance is absolutely delightful. It's kind of fun to have a nice place where you're going to work, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. 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 What's the old saying? You'll never work another day in your life if you like what you're doing. Yeah, and that's really the key. Yeah. Now, you said you're going to make us a special appetizer. Yeah. Tell us about okay. that. Okay, we're going to make a smoked salmon pizza. It's a pizza with a uh, dill shallot sauce on it, and then it's covered with smoked salmon and a little fresh dill. And it's a wonderful appetizer as well as a breakfast food. And that will make out of this wood burning oven. We also do fish, chicken, shrimp, other dishes out of here also. That's fabulous. Let's walk over here. You can show me something here. Yeah. All right, Jim, we're going to start this smoked salmon pizza. If you give me a hand, get that piece of wood on that fire. I think I can do this. You one. do it. And I'll stretch this dough real quick over here. And bring it over there where we can. Uh, Set it up to get you know, it in I the thought oven. I had that, but it's like playing shuffleboard. I know, I know, and I wasn't very good at that either. Okay. All right, we got a little one in there. We Go got ahead. that's beautiful. We got it. Thing. All right. All right. We got our dough right here. And we're just gonna brush this with a little olive oil. Marvelous. I really like the thin crust. I think that's kind of yeah, special. Yeah, th this will cook up in about three minutes. Maybe. And this is an appetizer. Appetizer, right. Okay. And we got some thinly sliced red onion. We'll put a little bit we of like that, that red, on. Well, I like the color and I like the, look at this, a Get little a design. Little bit of that on yeah, there. I like that. There you go. This is getting good. Another we'll give it a piece there. <laughs> we'll give it a taste of okay. Too Oh, All absolutely. Right. Yeah. There okay, you go. now we're ready to go in the oven. And yeah, we'll give that fellow about three minutes to it take him out. It doesn't take very long, No, does it? it'll no. cook right up. We want to get it nice and crispy so you got some crunch when you're I, biting Yeah, it. I like that. I think that's awfully good. All right, and we have the dill. ingredients for the top. I like the dill. Yeah, the dill is nice That's fresh gone. dill. Yes. Sour okay. cream, sour cream. Am I going to get through some of this? You're going to get to put the sour cream oh, on. Oh, I could do that, All right, yeah. this is sour cream, shallots, dill. Right. A little lemon. You can see the color. A little, a little lemon. lemon. And a touch of salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. And we're going to smear that on the pizza nice and right. even when that comes out. And we'll right, top we it that. with this. Smoked salmon, not oh, just yeah. salmon. No, smoked this is salmon. smoked salmon. Oh, this put is good. one of these gloves on this so is good. I can handle it. Should I have salmon. a glove? Uh, you're all right, because you're right. just going to handle it. All right, yeah, because I'm not going to play with it. I would, but, you know. It's, okay, look at I that. the gloves, I can't, you know, I can't right. do that. We'll just break a couple of them little bubbles there. 
Yeah, it does pop up. Just yeah, a just bit. a little bit. They'll pop up. There you go. Wonderful. And then you could play shuffleboard again with it. With this, you could do that here. You just take that baby and turn, take, turn them around a little bit. Just so it keeps cooking. Yeah. Or... Hey, give it a shot. All right, let me do that. You got to get it in the triangle with the number three or five, or however they play shuffleboard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. good. Put it a little closer to that file. Let's get All it brown right, let's get it up right a little in there bit. That's a beautiful bit. thing. Very good. Very All good. All right. Oh, that's, I, I like that whole idea of the, the wood fire. That's terrific. Yeah. We do a whole roasted bronzini fish. Take the whole fish, stuff them with fennel, a little rosemary, and put them in. It comes out so crispy, you could eat the skin. Yeah. Same with the chickens, too. We put a half a chicken in there and get it real golden brown. Gets a nice flavor from the wood, too. I, I'm impressed with the amount of heat that comes out of there. Okay, see that? They'll get me uh, a little bit. A little bit little more. Bit. We wanted yeah. to get a little golden brown. I love brown. that. But this, as an appetizer, is very, very special. This must be one of your favorites. Yeah, this, this works well with a group because we could cut that in six pieces. And it's, it's a pretty rich appetizer with the smoked salmon and the, the sour cream. It's so hard it works not to out like well. this. I like, let me mix it. It looks like, yeah. I know, looks like I know what I'm doing. We take it home at night and eat it in the morning for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> that is, it does. It does make good oh, breakfast, yeah, right? It's wonderful. Yeah, it's kind of like, uh, you know, lox and cream cheese yeah. in the morning. Yeah. See how nice it is? Yeah, that's We're crisping up A little up bit now. more now. But I love the notion of the wood fire. The heat is wonderful. Yeah. It's nice work here in the winter. It keeps you nice and toasty. Oh, yeah. You don't have to, and in the summertime, you want to run the other yeah, way. Yeah, I was going to say, in wintertime and winter, this is pretty good, working by the fire. I, and I'm partial to thin crust. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. But I like it also because it's, a, it's an appetizer. Everybody gets a yeah. chance to share it. And I think yeah. that's very good. Well, all our pizzas are thin crust, and we make our own mozzarella here also. So oh, you do our, make yeah, your own. Our own sauce. And all the ingredients we use are all fresh, fresh mushrooms, peppers, onions, whatever we put on the pizza is. I was talking to Billy for when I'm here, and I love the uh, uh, exceptions politely declined. <laughs> Because with a, with a thin crust, you can only do just so much, well, right? Yeah, you know, it is. You don't want to put too much ingredients on it because it gets soggy. Right. So if you just have the cheese and maybe some pepperoni and some caramelized onion, you can right. get it. You can keep that crunch. But when you load it up with all yeah, these then different you toppings, lose that. it's kind of uh, you lose so that. So you yeah. said you can have two. Any and two I you have, want. I here's the two that I like: pepperoni and anchovy. My favorite is just tomato sauce right. with anchovies. That's a real pizza marinara that goes back to the old Italian oh, nabola da. wonderful. If you and like that, anchovies, no cheese, just, just, no the cheese. And just, the anchovies. just the pizza sauce and the anchovies, and then you need about a gallon of water. Oh, afterwards. I was going to say, yeah, or a gallon right, of wine. Look at this Either baby. Oh, look that's, at that. That's, look that's at that gorgeous. Custard. Oh, yeah. That, that is thing is gorgeous. Ready. One second more over there, and you can go to work. Oh, this, I'm getting excited now. Let me get my sour cream. Okay. Dill, lemon, there we go. and a little uh, All right. shallot. You want to you get, said, get that, spread that put around. Put it in the middle? Yeah. I'll and give then, you a demonstration right, yeah, and yeah. you can go for it. Plop okay. some on there. And then spread it. Yeah. You only want to maybe a quarter of an inch or okay. so. You don't have to get All too right. heavy. That's it. Get oh, yeah. that baby I've all the way to the I've edge. I've got a future in this. Yeah, I can, I can see, see it. I got an apron You're, and a jacket for you. Yeah. You could start tomorrow night. Well, you know, the only problem, right? I don't get want to work thing, that hard. Get that thing spread. All right, let me go. I'm, I'm going. I'm all going. Right. I think we got enough. Uh, Millie, he's tough on me. We Millie. got enough. He's us. making me doing it good. We have enough. Uh, uh, to, you, to you, it's just spread it around. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you want to get just a Yeah, you don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to fill it That's plenty. All right, that's good. Let me just get this guy here. And yeah. Yeah, I got a little, it. I got a little carried It's a little right. heavy there, but. Smoked salmon, this part I like. Smoked salmon. Put this all on there nicely. The colors are nice as oh, well. Oh, yeah. Get rid of him. I tell you, this is, this is a little bit of heaven here. Yeah. The you can see how much I'm... salmon we put on here, so it's a pretty rich dish. It really is. The boys are eyeing this up. We'll, we'll take care of this a little later. Oh, they could have a slice, so I'll make them another one. <laughs> That's gorgeous. 
one more little piece. And there you are. And it's completely oh covered. And yeah, we'll put a little fresh dill. Dill. And that and is some little attractive. lemon wedges. A little piece of lemon. Yeah, there. You can squeeze that on. And when you go to eat it, you can squeeze that on. And then we'll cut that baby. All right. I'm giving you. I'm well, giving you some that, here. Did you hear that crunch? I did. I, that's what I like. I like the crunch. Why don't you pick a piece up and try that? That is gorgeous. Let me try yeah, this. Yeah, here's a little dish if you want. Oh, I get a dish too. Yeah, oh, look at the dill. I love the dill. And one other thing that we put mm. on too, but a lot of customers don't care for it. We sprinkle a few capers on there oh. too, which we don't have right now. Oh. That's remarkable. You know, I really like the uh, sour cream sauce with the salmon. Yeah, it goes well with that. Mm. It goes well. Kind of like a bagel and uh, bagel with cream cheese and locks on a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I get you a napkin here. Don't make me laugh on I mean, a pizza. <laughs> oh my God, is this? Uh, there oh, you this go, is Jim. Fabulous. Thank you. There you go. It makes me laugh when I'm eating a pizza. Oh, this is unbelievable. Yeah, this is probably one of our most popular appetizers. And oh. like I said, when we cut it into six pizzas, it goes well with a four top, you know, six top, whatever. And you did a good job putting wood in there. We got that thing up to okay. 567. Yeah. That's a good That's operating a temperature. Right temperature. Yeah, about 550, 575 is nice. Stay with me, folks. I, I don't want to give up. This is too good. <laughs> uh, oh. Want a glass of soda or water or something? No, we're going to go right to wine. We're, we're going to go, go right, right to, to wine, wine. Okay. later. But, but yeah. tell us again, because it's so wonderful. Tell us what this appetizer is. Okay, we have regular pizza crust, which we make in-house. That pizza crust is a recipe I developed using three different flours. So we use a full strength, a uh, artisan baker's flour, mm -hmm. and semolina. Salt and water, and a drop of olive oil, and that's the crust. The sour cream, shallots, dill, Shall lemon juice, just a little, and a touch of salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. And dill, of course. Yeah. And, and then, then the smoked salmon. Smoked salmon. You say you also have capers on occasion. Yeah. I yeah. Just we, keep, uh, we keep a little thing of capers here, <laughs> and we sprinkle them. A lot of people don't care for them, so we always ask them whether they want I love capers. Like the Caesar salad. Do you want anchovies or yeah, not? That, <laughs> that anchovies. I can't have Caesar salad without oh, the no. anchovies. Yeah. When I go now, out to eat, if they don't have anchovies, I don't eat I'm a not, Caesar I'm salad. I'm sorry. I won't yeah. be in. Now, we're going to take a break for a second because the guys want to sample some of this Absolutely, appetizer. Absolutely, sure. And then we'll come back and we'll do the next step. We're going to do an entree. You're going to yep. share that with yep. us. Yep. We're going to be right back after a few messages. Okay. We're at it again here at Crossroads Ford. I see you went with the Ford Escape. Yes, I took it for a test ride and I love it. It has the navigation and the sync features which I was looking for. The sync features. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go talk to someone in the service department. What kind of cars do you work on? Fords, Subarus, Chevys. So basically anything with four wheels, right? Absolutely. I got a go-kart needs tune-up. Bring it in, we can do it. I'm Ron Teeter, owner of Crossroads Ford. You gotta give us a try. We hope you're enjoying Meet the Chef. Remember, it's local, it's real people in our community, and it's exclusively on Mid-Hudson Cable Vision's Channel 11. To be a local sponsor of this program or to have your restaurant featured on Meet the Chef, Please contact us at 828-2500, extension 8207 for details.
All right, we're at the oh. Mill Rock restaurant in Wyndham, Main Street, Route 23, Main Street, Rocky, the king of the <laughs> Mill Rock restaurant. What are we going to do now? All right, we're going to make you the wonderfully wicked seafood lovers for two. And if you would do so kind to cook us some from Linguini. Yeah, get a nice big handful. I think that's get a good. little bit more One than more. that. Yeah, All we're right. going to feed the boys. Oh, here. that's right. I forgot. Put it in that basket and give that thing a good douse of salt. Now, throw that right in the throw salt. Throw this right in? Yeah, put that pasta down. All right. All right. Six or seven minutes, that'll be nice and al dente. As soon as they start falling down, give them a little stir. Okay. In this pan here, I have a little bit of olive oil. And we're going to hit this with some garlic. Oh, I like that idea. Not now, tell much. us the ingredients, because you got right, fabulous while stuff here. While this is browning up, over here we have some PEI mussels. Prince little, Edward Island yep. mussels. Oh, those are the best. They're never sandy. They're really nice. Nice little neck clams. We got some jumbo That's shrimp. That's the biggest shrimp I've ever seen. We have calamari. We have some base scallops. And we got some baby shrimp. And they add a little more flavor to the sauce. I like and that idea. here we got some codfish and some red snapper filet. Depending on what's running, we call it the catch of the day. Sometimes we have salmon in there, sometimes we have wild striped bass, swordfish. We try to stay with nice flaky fish. Right, something that will really yeah. add essence yeah. to it. So as soon as, this, as soon as this browns up, which is not gonna be about another second, we're gonna put all this ingredients in there and cook it up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna add stir this up a little bit. That's we got a nice big dish here to put this in, and it's... Uh, that we have to have. I like that uh, idea. Big time. <clears throat> now, what we're going to do, we're going to put all the, boys, all the boys together later, and we're going to work our way through this very wicked... What is it? Wonderfully wicked Wonderfully seafood wicked lovers for two. Seafood lover for yeah. two. In this case, three. We're gonna, or four. We don't know about Susan. We'll keep her in the background. But wonderfully wicked seafood for oh, two. Yeah. Where these names came from, all the trails that when the mountains start with a W. So we have some of our dishes named after the trail. Like right the Wonderfully trail. Wicked is one of the trails over there. And uh, then so we, have, we have a pizza we call a Hellgate pizza from over at Hunter Mountain. Yeah, yeah, the ski, the ski store. Yeah. Okay. okay, we got this garlic sweating up and it's getting a little nice and brown here. We're getting ready to put everything in here. Now, what is the formula? Because they cook a little differently, right? Well, well, well seafood cooks relatively fast, so we're going to just hit this with this calamari. There you go. Calamari, little bay scallops, and yeah. a small shrimp. Now we'll give it the seafood. The mussels and the clams. And the clams. And, and then we call it catch of the day. It's yeah. whatever you decide right. to use. Today we have cod. And red snapper. And red snapper for life. Put all that baby <laughs> right in there. Okay. Give that a couple of minutes. There we go. Give this a little stir. Okay. That looks awesome. You all sure right. two people can handle that? Because we're going to well, use three guys here today. Okay. Yeah, that's cooked enough. I have to sweat it up good. Uh, we we'll deglaze it with a little white wine. Give that a little second or two to cook up. Get that big shrimp right up on top there. Look at the Look size, at the of, size that of that shrimp. I like the catch of the day idea also because all of the ingredients are marvelous, but the fish sets it off, I yeah. think. Yeah, different customers request it different ways. Some people don't want the clams or some don't want this. But it's easy because everything we do is to order, so it's not a problem. Right, you know, you don't yeah. prepare things ahead no, of time. No, you fix it there. Everything. So. Well, you've seen all the pastas there. Let me just get behind you for one second. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we're going to season this up with a little salt and pepper. Just a few red flakes to give it a pinch. See, I like that a little, you don't a want little to give kick. It, you don't want to give it too much. No, nope, but a little just kick. Just a touch of that. Just a little kick. We have some nice fresh marinara sauce here. And you make your own sauce. Oh, all our sauces are house made. Okay. That is a rich yeah. sauce. That Wonderful. <laughs> and what we do is we just cover this for a couple like of that. minutes. I like that. The flavors. 
Yeah, well, you're going to smell well, the aroma well, gives you that yeah. taste. Yeah. All them fish are going to blend right into that marinara sauce. You're going to get a real tasty, tasty dish here. I, what is, do you think about my waistline? Because well, I'm not backing off. You saw what I did with it. Pretty comparable to mine. <laughs> you know, it's funny when we when we did the opening. They were talking about the fat guy over there. Yeah. I thought they I thought he was I, referring to you too. I, 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 I wasn't sure what that <laughs> I was. I said, "Boy, Ryan's not a very nice guy." No, he, he's tough. He, as producers he's tough go, guy. he's pretty good. But that that one, I I looked around. To see if he was talking about me. I wasn't really <laughs> sure. But I I love the aromas coming out of that. I also like the idea of just a little red flake, yeah. just a little kick to that. But the shrimp looks marvelous. Calamari, you're never going to go wrong with oh, that. Oh, look at that pasta. Oh, that there. is terrific. I don't know, Jim. Maybe you should have put a little bit more in there. But I, I'm thinking you might be right. Yeah, but you I know think what? Let's throw a little bit more in for a backup. Let, right. We'll serve that one. And then and we'll then, have a little more. Yeah, put that in there. All right. That's the guy. Get that The going. reason why I like the linguine, it's heartier. It can handle what well, you're putting together. If there. you look at the menu, certain things, I, I recommend certain pastas. Like to go with a meal. Right. Mm -hmm. And I get requests all the time that people want white clam sauce over rigatoni. and They just don't go. No, know? it doesn't. It don't no, go. No. <laughs> so no, we, it, we try to decline. <laughs> I, and I, I like that, politely decline. Yeah. But I, I like the idea of linguine with a meal this hearty. Oh, yeah. Because it's got yeah. a little more body to it, a little. Yeah, I got some nice crusty bread we're going to cut up. Oh, Actually, that. I did see that. Yeah, by we're going to put that in the pizza oven and get that heated up. And How about oh, yeah. wine? Do you like wine? You don't no. like wine. No, no, oh, I, was so, I was so thrilled. I was afraid you weren't going to mention that. Because I didn't <laughs> want to bring it up. I want to act like a, a, a true gentlemanly guest, you know, but when the wine is good, I pick right I have a really nice bottle of wine we're going to open up and we'll all enjoy a glass. This wine is coming from Italy, and it's what they call a Super Tuscan, basically Sangiovese, a little Merlot, a little right. cup, and it has an unusual glass stopper. So you, you just that take, is unusual. yeah, you take the top off and you pop this glass top up, top, and it, it's pretty good. It's it's a sign of things to come in wine. They're coming up with more and more different now, tops. Now you have a real sense of that because we know you have a wonderful wine cellar. Ryan's going to shoot some of that later. Oh, yeah, sure. But it, it's something that you really feel very, very strongly about, oh. that the meal's got to go with the good wine. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Yeah, we specialize in Italian wines and American wines. And the reason our heritage in this country produces such great wines, they the really state of Washington, okay. Oregon, well, wine's made in all 50 states now. That's some uh, some that just make some sweet wines like New Jersey. You, you right. They do blueberry wines stuff. But like it's that. kind of interesting that all fifty states oh, yeah. come for that. Oh yeah. New York State produces a lot of nice wines. We have a really nice one from the Finger Lakes, and it's a Cabernet Merlot blend, and it's nice and heavy. That's what yeah. I like the big heavy yeah, wines. Yeah, something with a little yeah, soul with some to body. A little body. Yeah. yeah. This is cooking up really nice, and I think in about three minutes. We're going to be ready. I don't to know which one I like best. So I was looking at those jumbo shrimp. They're out of this world. But I love the mussels. Prince Edward Island mussels. And uh, calamari is always great. I also like the idea of the base scallops, but they're smaller. The, yeah. Some of the scallops, for me, like the diver scallops, are so big. I'm not quite as fond of that. Like I like the, the base. Yeah, yeah, the base. We scallop. use the real big ones as entrees. I like them right, because that because of the presentation of it. Right, because you can do three some very or nice four of them makes a big serving. It really there. does. How's the linguine coming? Oh, oh boy, yeah, we're I think ready. we're right up the al dente point there. What al dente. Oh yeah. And that's this is the tasting yeah. you have to do. There it is. Al dente. Mm. That way, when you put the uh, rest of the seafood with it, it can finish that off a little bit. Yeah. I like that idea. Give that you know, a good draining. Get our dish ready. Look at this dish. Oh, yeah. this, this, this we would normally thing. use a little bit more pasta than this for two people, but we'll start with this, and then we could add this one later on and get an idea oh, of what we're doing. I don't know why I was this trying to save you some budget. Do <laughs> <laughs> I use too much? This gets a little hectic when Jeanette's working over here. We have every one of these baskets. I was going to say down. you have to keep dancing back and forth because, um, as you said, you put everything yeah, is done individually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's got all nine, ten baskets in there. She's cooking de ten different pastas, and the stove is totally covered with these pans here. With all the different sauces. So you gotta so, learn dance steps yeah, to get yeah, around. Each sometimes other. I get lost. I'll be looking. What I do with that? Yeah, I made we, it, but where is yeah, it? Yeah, where uh, is we it? We get it. Oh yeah, this baby is ready. 
Oh, that's special. Okay. That is special. <clears throat> that is remarkable. I like the colors. Yeah, I you like got the a variation in here. the seafood. You got a lot going on. But in I that like place. the sauce as well. I think the sauce is really very special. This is dipping sauce. When yeah. you finish eating, you take that crusty bread and See? dip it in. That's there. what I'm saying. Because okay. I saw the crusty bread. I got excited when I saw that. Okay. Yeah, yeah Jim, you kind of shortchanged this customer yeah, did, on the yeah. pasta <laughs> department. I hope boy. they don't call you back. Oh, my God. Oh, they're going to be, uh, no, writing, they're no, gonna be writing trip advisor here, yeah. complaining that that's they right. have, yeah, didn't that have one, enough pasta. I don't here. think I did too well with that one. That was kind of right. bad. Well, we have some work in there. We'll get this. Well, the reason why I do like what I did is that now when we get the seafood in there, we'll all be able to sort it out and get what we want. Oh, yeah. 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 <clears throat> I do like mussels. I'm surprised. That that's one of the ones that I've become okay. more and more fond of. Are the mussels? We just pour that baby right on top, yeah, like that. Them Is big that giant beautiful or what? Right on there. Oh lordy, that is very very special. Oops, stay there, you. Yeah, we'll put a little <laughs> fresh parsley on it. We have to have garnish. parsley, but again, it's the colors. Yeah. It's the colors. It's almost like colors of Italy with the red. And that's and green how we would it. serve it. Bring that out, oh, and when one of these goes out on a busy night, the next thing, every ticket, I want a wicket, I want a wicket, I want, it sells itself. I like the idea yeah. that you tied in the idea of these various trails and wind them yeah. with, with the menu items. I just think that's a clever yeah, idea. Yeah, I, I forget half the trails, but uh, you look on the menu, you'll find a few more. So, you, I love the hat. <laughs> I just got, no, no, I'm a hat guy, I love the hat. But you really enjoy being an artist, don't you? Because being a chef is being an artist. Oh, yeah. 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 It, it's a real sense of showing who you are and what your creativity is, and it comes out and meals just fabulous. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I grew up in the food business and had enough of our own little places, and it's trying at times, but it's also rewarding because you meet so many lovely people. Over the 18 years we've been here, We've become friends with a lot of our customers yes. where we go out to eat with them and stuff. And, and you know, because yeah, it's it, family, it creates yeah, a big yeah, sense of is, family. As I told you, I've already got three or four friends that we make plans to come up here to Mill Rock. Now, when we sit down to eat, we're going to do that in a minute, mm -hmm. you're going to tell me the story of the create. You told me about creating the ambiance here. You're going to tell me the name of how you created the restaurant. <laughs> we'll do that when we eat. Okay. We're going to be right back, and then we're going to be eating this. And I'm going to give it a taste test, but then all the boys are going to jump in. We're going to have a wonderful time. We'll be right back. Okay, great. We're at it again here at Crossroads Ford. I see you went with the Ford Escape. Yes, I took it for a test ride and I love it. It has the navigation and the sync features which I was looking for. The sync features. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go talk to someone in the service department. What kind of cars do you work on? Fords, Subarus, Chevys. So basically anything with four wheels, right? Absolutely. I got a go-kart needs tune-up. Bring it in, we can do it. I'm Ron Teeter, owner of Crossroads Ford. You gotta give us a try. We hope you're enjoying Meet the Chef. Remember, it's local, it's real people in our community, and it's exclusively on Mid-Hudson Cable Vision's Channel 11. To be a local sponsor of this program or to have your restaurant featured on Meet the Chef, please contact us at 828-2500, extension 8207 for details. Welcome back. Rocky, look at Rocky, look at the hat. I love the hat. <laughs> We're at the Mill Rock restaurant in Wyndham, right on 23, right on Main Street. You had a great story about the development of the name. You oh, didn't know what yeah. to call a restaurant. How'd you do it? Uh, we had two or three pages of names. And <laughs> I was just doodling one day, Millie and Rocky, and a friend of mine looked over my shoulder and said, there's the name of the restaurant, short at Mill Rock. Instead of Millie and, and Rocky, just who Mill were... Rock, and it worked, and we went with that because 
we just took the other two pages of names threw and them threw out. them out and said, this will work. This will be it. I knew Millie would like, she's sitting over there. Yeah. I knew she'd like that story because we got to get, yeah. get her in here a little yeah, bit. So I, don't know her Millie, very Rocky, long. I don't know her very long. How many years? Uh, 51 years last That's, May. You finally get to know her a <laughs> yeah, little bit, which stunning. is good. It takes a while. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Millie, Rocky, Mill Rock Restaurant, fabulous. Main Street of Wyndham, Main Street of Wyndham, you got to come. We're coming back. Tell us about the wine. Okay, this is a little Super Tuscan from Tuscany, <coughs> Sangiovese, Cabernet, and Merlot. And one of the things I really like about this wine is this unique top. You twist this off the right top. off. Yeah. Look at that little glass stopper. I like there. that. And pop that. What is that, a fly or something in there? What is it, an ant? It, yeah, it, it, it's some kind of bee. This is a there. very unique wine. And so, you know, what we do is, I'm not going to give you any, because I have <laughs> to make sure it's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's very so nice. So, you know. Now, what does that say life, about wine? Oh, life is too short to drink bad wine. Life is too short to drink bad wine. Remember that. That's, that's the motto of the Mill Rock Restaurant in Wyndham. Thank Rocky you for coming, Millie. Jim. Chin down. Chin de wound. Chin de I have to tell you, you're such a gracious host. It's just fabulous to be with you. Thank you. I love, I ate everything I could find with that salmon, with the pizza, but what we're going to do now is we're going to eat some heavy duty seafood. Oh, yeah. We're now we're getting that. ready to go to the main course. Mm. And, oh, Millie's going to bring this dish oh, over for us. That's my. Oh, make some room there. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, boy. All right. Let me All put right. my stopper over here. Take oh. them tongs and dig in. See that? I'll get I rid of this grass for you. All right, we got. There you go. Ah, I got some of that. Because the other thing is, I do love your sauce. I thought the sauce looked fabulous. Look, we yeah. got some bay scallops. Yeah, you got I got to have that. the Prince Edward yeah. Island you mussels. Want, you want some help with this? What can you handle? I'm pretty it? bad, huh? Yeah, let me see what you got. I have no skills. There. Rocky, <laughs> save me here, Rock. Okay, let's get you squared. Oh, you know, you told me about the shrimp, too. There's a little baby shrimp in yeah. there. Yeah, let's put one of the big jumbo yeah, guys yeah. in. And oh. Get you. But you're right, the baby shrimp adds a lot of, a lot of flavor. Yeah. A lot of flavor. Yeah, there. we'll give Wonderful. you a big heap and teaspoon of this. There you go. There you go. Now I'm happy. Now you got some. A little calamari. Going. Yeah. Oh, what let else me use my little spoon there? here. Oh, tell us There's about cheese. There's a piece of cod. Is that? That's I gotta uh, have that. some codfish in there. And oh. a, little, a little calamari. You know, I can believe. Okay. The fettuccine. It is fettuccine, right? Linguini. 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 I'm sorry. You cooked it. You should know. I already fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you won't be hiring me for the kitchen. But uh, the linguini has all the infused flavor of the seafood. Yeah. Remarkable. And you see that cheese on your left? No. That's only for looks. Traditionally, Italians don't put grated cheese on um, seafood dishes. However, feel free. If you no, like no. cheese, I'll... put cheese on it. No, no. This yeah. fish is absolutely melting in your mouth. Yeah. The nice thing I like about this dish, oh. you cook each one to order, and it cooks fast. You mm -hmm. know, you don't have hours of cooking and cooking, and it's nice and fresh. We keep a nice light marinara sauce with it, and it picks on the taste of the. I uh, like that a lot. I'm you throwing, wrestling with that I'm shrimp. Wrestling. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that knife. Well, pick them up in your hand. Oh, and just uh, no, I was gonna do that. But yeah, pick them right up. In I your want. Hand. To, I didn't want to look bad. Oh, there you go. There it is. Oh. Mmm. The variety of flavors. I love the idea of the catch of the day. Tell us how you do that because you, you said that varies. Yeah, you know, we try to use whatever seasonal fish that we can get. And uh, red snapper is coming up from the Gulf now. It's coming up beautiful, whole and fillets. And cod's been running really nice. That's a nice white flaky fish. Wonderful. Every week we do like three fish specials. Oh. And uh, all our fish comes in on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, so it's always nice and fresh. This week we're going to be doing something with filet of sole. Uh, we have some salmon coming in and mm -hmm. uh, some big swordfish. Do that. Swordfish is a great group. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, one mm. of our favorite ones, I think I was mentioned mm. to you, we did that for Fourth of July weekend, is the whole roasted bronzini fish. Oh, yeah, yeah. tell me about that. I'm, I, yeah. That's new we to take, me, the bronzini. We fill the thing. cavity with thinly sliced fennel, a little rosemary, brush it with olive oil, and put it in that wood burning oven at about it's 550. It's really done in the oven. Oh, yeah, the whole yeah. thing is complete, and it comes out all crispy, a little charred. And it's been a real big hit with us. Wow. Uh, you're missing the best part, the oh. bread. Hold on, see? <laughs> no. This baked in house. A lot, nice you know what a lot of people baguette. do? A lot of people actually right judge a restaurant by the bread. By the bread. <laughs> Isn't that true? They do. That's got a little crunch to it, too. It's real coarse inside. I really inside. like that. It's a, it's a, it's a good, good quality bread. And what the folks didn't see is you put it in the wood fire oven just to. Oh, yeah, warm yeah. It up well, we bit. bake it, but then the, before we serve it, we like to heat it up. Mm -hmm. And serve it with some extra virgin olive oil and a little fresh ground black pepper. Mm. You got a lot of work here, Jim. <laughs> this is so good. Now, I find this hard to imagine, but this is served for two? For two. And two hungry people could put a good dent in this. Don't forget you had an appetizer first, so often they'll have just a salad, not as filling. Oh, so you know, A little yeah. light salad and then tackle this, but we've made this for four, six, eight people. We have a, we have a one plate that will barely fit on this table. We'll make it for six people. Mm -hmm. And then I have to get some muscle man to carry it out. <laughs> but you, but you, it's like a, celebrating a, a neighborhood feast. Yeah. See, I, I never met fettuccine, I didn't like, or no, it was linguine. linguine. I keep going, linguine. I got fettuccine on the brain. Yeah. You have any idea why, Billy? I, I was... Oh, I'm trying to figure out which one I like the most, and I think that's the thing. It's a little dish big. Chuck your Get rid shells of some of the in. shells. Yeah. Uh, I I don't think you can choose that because they're all part of the whole. That you you just it it really and that's what I was saying about the linguine is that. It's infused with all those flavors. Yeah. That well, the, is wonderful. The calamari, the bay scallops, and the baby shrimp, they really add a lot of flavor to it. They're <laughs> small. They get right in the sauce. They're flavorful. You don't mind if nice. I keep eating? No. you got a lot to go with that. Look at these big jumbo <laughs> shrimp you're passing on. But I can't let the, the bay scallops get away. <laughs> oh, this is marvelous. Now, this is hard to imagine. But we're also going to have a, a dessert. Yeah. What do you thought yeah. would go? Oh, uh, we're going to make a house-made creme brulee. Oh. We make that in house. We make quite a few of our own desserts: the creme brulee, the chocolate mousse, the cannoli cream. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at this. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm having trouble finishing. Mill Rock Restaurant. <clears throat> in Wyndham with Rocky. Millie's over there. Remember, it was Rocky and Millie trying to come up with this fancy name. Yeah. And we came up with Mill the Rock. obvious, yeah. the Mill Rock. All right. Let me take one more nibble here with okay. calamari. Yep. You got a little squid in there. Mm -hmm. See, that's hard to imagine. It's cooked so well that the, uh, the calamari is just fabulous. Because the only thing you can't do is overcook that. Yeah. And yeah. this is perfect. Yeah, well, calamari, you want to either cook it fast or cook it long. There's right. no in between with that. Right, you got to get that right. And this is perfect. Every, everything that we serve here is, is cooked to order, and we try to keep everything as light and fresh as possible. You now, know, when we were back there, we got to reinforce that notion of how busy it gets here sometimes. Oh, yeah, it so gets when you little... cook individually, you have the various dishes going together, various types of pasta, so you actually get, get filled up with everything back oh, there, Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, on a busy night, that pasta cooker will stay full with seven or eight or nine different cuts of pasta. Right. And our sous chef, she'll cook the pasta, do the grilling, and I'll do the saute. And all, all the sauces are made individually for each pasta. We don't have any pre-made sauce. Mm -hmm. If you want, say, puttanesca, we make a small pan of puttanesca oh, right there. And all our sauces cook 
basically in the same time that the pasta does. So you get a nice combination of keeping it fresh. Sauce is fresh, pasta is nice and al dente. Would you do me a favor and share with the folks out there the puttanesca sauce? What is that? Well, that, that took place, how it came about in Rome many years ago, the street walkers would run in to make something to eat and they'd open the refrigerator and they had to make something real quick and they found some olives, a little onion, a little red wine, and some anchovies and tossed it all together with a little fresh tomato sauce and that's where the puttanesca name came, came from. from. And uh, we serve it with or without anchovies. It's about a 50-50 mix. Some people want it with, some without. I, um, and also, I, also we have a lot of gluten-free dishes. We have gluten-free penne, gluten-free spaghetti. And we're able to do a lot for vegans also. Oh, like, good. Oh, yeah. Good. All, all the pasta dishes can be done for vegans because there's no meat byproducts or dairy in the marinara. So you could have marinara sauce with any kind of pasta. Right. You could have primavera, which is just sautéed fresh vegetables. There's no dairy in that. Right. So you have so a you choice. Can, you you can, have a choice. I, I think yeah. that's terribly important. Because yeah. me, I'm, I'm kind of your way of thinking, traditional. I'm not having to put the Nesca without the Without anchovies. the anchovies. Yeah, no, that's I mean, my, yeah, that's I mean, my yeah. favorite sauce. And the pasta you like to eat with that is bucatini. It's like a very small... It long like a linguine, but round with a thin hole in it, like a little straw. Oh, okay. And the sauce just holds onto that so good. Yeah, see, that's yeah. the thing, too. Is how does it come together yeah. as a meal? Yeah. That's well, it's wonderful. it's important to have the right sauces with the right pastas. They just, just works. It just works so well. Okay, I'm going to take time out here, and then you're going to okay. show me the dessert. Remember you need a doggy bag? <laughs> <laughs> When we go off camera, when we go off camera, I'm going to go back to eating this and okay. some more. Okay. Tell us about the dessert. All right. We have house-made creme brulee here. And Millie's already helped me by sprinkling the, uh, it's not brown sugar. They call it turbinado, raw sugar. Right. And that's sprinkled on there. And then we're just going to caramelize it, which I could do right here with this torch. Oh, I could get in trouble with that torch. Yeah. Oh, uh, see? <clears throat> See, I like having your own chef. I got Rocky here as my personal chef at the table, fixing my creme brulee. Now I can have my pinky up. Have my pinky up. This wine, by the way, is out of this world. You're absolutely right. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, later on, if you want to take a look down in the wine cellar, maybe you'll see something you like. Well, this is caramelized and really, really nice. Yeah, you can see it's. I been, like the colors. Yeah, it's the really colors really good. Live and set. Okay. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, we're just missing the garnish for that. Ooh. Gotta have garnish. You, you can't have creme brulee without garnish. By the way, no, I was gonna... Okay, sorry. Oh, this is bad, I'm sorry, I just have to eat some more. Oh, see? That's okay. mint. Okay, now, there's your house-made creme brulee. Wonderful. This is mint? Yeah, just a little fresh mint. I could move this all over for you. Yeah, would you, because I'm gonna go back and eat it later. It's just oh, a... yeah? <clears throat> okay. Nope. You think you can pour me just a little bit more? Sure. Right? What do we do with I that? I like the stopper. Yeah. Now I'm going to try. This is ridiculous. This yeah. is ridiculous. This is so good. That's good. Thank you. You're welcome. I, what I like about this, it's one of the most flavorful desserts you'll ever have, but you don't feel like you're overdoing. Yeah, it's kind of light. It's, nice. it's a heavy dessert, but it eats up real light. Hey, did you get a little crispiness on I the top? The, and the uh, custard yeah. is cool, and the top is crispy. It's yeah. such a great contrast. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, I can see it's breaking up good there. Maybe you want an espresso to go with that. Well, you're good with this wine. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm leaving. <laughs> No, no, I think I'll just stay here. I'll have another little I become, sip there. Yeah, I've become the permanent resident of the Mill Rock restaurant. Oh, my God. Oh. Mill Rock restaurant, Main Street of Wyndham. This is Rocky. The go to hell hat is just, I love it. I said, that's known as an escoffier. Chef's hat, escoffier. Yeah. He's the uh, guy that invented sauté, Scuffy, a Frenchman. Oh. Mm. Again, I'll, I'll finish that later. 
Rocky, tell me what it means to you to have this wonderful restaurant and share with people. You tell me before what you like most about this business. Oh, you just meet so many wonderful people. Isn't that great? Yeah. I really think like 99, like Ivory Soap, 99 and 9 tenths of the people that go out to eat, they want to go out and have a, just a great time, a good right. time, enjoy themselves, meet <clears> other people. And then you got that small, small minority that they go out to be unhappy, and you can't make them happy, but the majority of the people, they're wonderful to be with. They and, really are. Yeah, we've what? met so many <clears throat> lovely people over the years, became our personal friends that we go out with them. Uh, that's the part off. I thought was very yeah, interesting, where really, yeah. you become friends and yeah. start to socialize yeah. yourself. Yeah. But yeah. what I find is, as someone who works at this as you do, where you dedicate your life to it, it really is an artistry, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's, it's rewarding. It's rewarding to put something out that people enjoy. You know, it's fun. Well, we have a lot of happy people because we've been eating, <laughs> we've been eating since we got, we got here. And we'll continue after we go off the air. But uh, tell me a little bit about the hours. What are your hours here? Uh, we only open for one meal, which is dinner. We right. open at five. We're closed Tuesday and Wednesday year round. Okay. And in the winter time, um, Christmas week, Presidents Week, we're open seven days a week. Right. Because the town is really packed. Really jumps, doesn't yeah. it? In the winter. Yeah. 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 But I, I, summertime what? is also like this time of the year. It becomes really nice too. Yeah. A lot of traffic comes through. Well, you can't get a much more beautiful place than Wyndham. Do you yeah. think? No, it's gorgeous. We get the World Cup coming in August, so that will bring a lot of people from all around the world. And that's world. the mountain biking you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, That's why yeah. I did the fake thing with yeah. the bicycle. They tried to get me on a bicycle. There's no way yeah. like I was going to get on a bike. You know what I mean? It's over for me with a bicycle. But it's such a marvelous event, and it brings so many people oh, into does. the community. It it's just yeah. wonderful. Yeah, the whole, the whole population explodes whenever they have the uh, World Cup bike yeah. races or any of the big bike races. And... It works out well for all the all the businesses yeah. in town. Yeah, it and it's, it's just great for the community. And the other thing I, I want to remind people is on your menu, you've used some of the names oh, yeah. of these various of trails. Of the different the trails, community. yeah. Tell, tell me yeah. the name of this one again. This is Wonderfully Wicked Seafood Lovers for Two, and that's one of the trails over Wyndham is Wonderfully Wicked. Well, wicked and wonderful. There's a, they all start with W, so I get confused See, myself. Start with Wyndham, start with W. <laughs> Come to the Mill Rock Restaurant, Main Street in Wyndham. Rocky, thanks so much. What oh, a great welcome, visit. Just a joy to be with you. Your gracious style, your warmth is something we very much appreciate. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Please come to the Mill Rock Restaurant in Wyndham. We love them. We love Rocky. Millie's over there. She didn't want to be on the air, but she's over here in the corner making sure we get it right. <laughs> and we also want to thank you for joining us on Meet the Chef. Today, we're at Mill Rock Restaurant right here in Wyndham. Next week, who knows where we're going to be. We want you to join us real soon on Meet the Chef.